Through that excitement, we can all change the world one bottle at a time. Thank you. It's wonderful. Entrepreneurship is about solving problems, and it's about um, finding a problem and finding solutions to that problem. Not only that, but in the process of finding those solutions, the problems will arise. Kevin Posadas knows a few things about solving problems. He's the founder of a company called Green, which offers recycling services in the Bay Area. It's a concept he developed while taking entrepreneurship classes at City College of San Francisco. We provide people with infrastructure for them to collect their materials, sort their materials, and once they've reached a minimum amount, one of our drivers comes by, we pick up the materials, and then we take them to the recycling center. So I like to tell people that we are not a recycling company. We are um, an environmental company. So our focus is really um, on the environment. Green pays its customers a percentage of the value of their beverage containers. In turn, those recyclables are kept out of the landfill. Kevin had the idea before enrolling at City College, but he says it blossomed into what it is today because of the college's Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation. The center was founded in 2018 by Vivian Faustino. She wanted community college students to have the same access to venture capital and startup funding as students at prominent universities. They always say that, oh, I could never be successful as an entrepreneur because I am not from Harvard, I am not from Stanford, because they always think about Google, Mark Zuckerberg and uh, Tesla and all that coming from all these big name universities. So it's, it's, it's heartbreaking to feel that our students don't have that kind of confidence. The Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation is more than just a business course. Through workshops and lectures, students learn everything they need to know about launching a product or app. The center covers topics like finance, design thinking, and intellectual property. But perhaps most valuable is the ability to network with investors and entrepreneurs. People like Lauren Taylor, who has a marketing and product development agency in the Bay Area. She's also an entrepreneur in residence at the center. Networking is so important, um, especially I think um, in, in the Bay Area. Folks come to the Bay Area with the with the idea that um, that anyone can make it, and anyone that has a great idea, um, you know, can get a, a million dollars in seed funding and be off to the races. And unfortunately, it's so much harder than that, and so much of it relies on your network and who can open doors for you. One way the center connects students and industry professionals so is, is at pitch events. Hello, good afternoon and welcome everybody to City College of San Francisco and the Center for Prior to COVID, these pitch events were held at the City College campus with investors or venture capitalists serving as judges. Students get three minutes to pitch their product, app, or business idea. We are a vegan health coach and an image consultant who've come together to provide people with information about nutrition and style. So things that they do, number one, is to describe what is the problem that they would like to solve? What are they passionate about? What is that big why, right? And then after that, they would say, okay, this is the problem. This is the solution. I came up with an idea of a faster and more convenient way of paying restaurant bills, particularly if within a group dining. So the purpose of this is um, two prong not only to get funding, because honestly, their ideas are still still being developed. It's not 100% viable. But the pitch, this, this, uh, these students are there to really test their ideas with the market who are listening and watching their demo. They could get this feedback, this valuable feedback and insight on how can they tweak the product we're really there to support the entrepreneurs. Everybody is coming to the table with a really fantastic product and idea. And what they need is help kind of teasing out where the biggest opportunities are. It's an intimidating experience, but one that students say teaches them invaluable lessons. Kevin Posadas will never forget his first pitch. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm totally hurting I had spent months, um, literally months, preparing this three-minute pitch. Um, and it's incredible how much one takes for just three minutes. And I felt ready. I felt like when the time came, I would be able to to present in a way that would highlight my company and make 
myself look great. But when the time came, um, that it wasn't the case. And I completely froze. And he was so nervous. And I, I feel like I remember like tears welling up in his eyes. He was so nervous. And Kevin just delivered the most incredible pitch. I, I mean, I still, like I have goosebumps. I think by the end of the pitch, there was like a standing ovation. Kevin says that nerve wracking experience motivated him to keep going. He went on to enter a national pitch competition. This time, he spoke in front of 600 people, but delivered his pitch perfectly, coming home with the third place prize in the country. It was one of the best experiences of my life, and I, I owe it a lot. I owe it all completely to, to, the, to the Center of Entrepreneurship and Innovation at City College for putting me into that, into that position. When COVID hit, the Center for Entrepreneurship moved all of its workshops and content online. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, this is definitely the first uh, that we are, the first time that we're doing this virtually. The same went for the pitch event, which was held over Zoom in 2020. Hello everyone, my name is Puisan Tam, and I'm the founder of Workmate, an online on-demand networking platform. Pui San Tam is a student at City College. She already has a bachelor's degree from UC Davis and was working as an independent consultant when her priorities changed. Last year when the pandemic hit, uh, we had to work from home. Uh, but also I have uh, small children, so both of my children had to do distant learning from home. So it became very um, difficult for me to um, combine being full-time at home, but full-time mom. So um, I really took this pandemic as that opportunity um, to try this entrepreneurship. Puisan says she missed having serendipitous conversations with other professionals in her old co-working space. So she came up with the idea for Workmate, a way for independent workers to connect in the remote working age. You will be matched instantly with another workmate who is online and matches your objective. Then it's just a matter of connect and converse. It's just as simple as that. Like Puisan, a number of the students at the center already have college degrees and work experience. Many are immigrants whose academic credentials did not transfer to America. But they all share common desires to create jobs for themselves and better the world. Decolonize will not only have a collection of free resources ranging from black novels to indigenous poetry to immigrant experiences, but it will also be a safe place to exchange ideas and connect with people. Leaders say moving the center online during COVID was challenging, but it also presented opportunities for even more people to attend its workshops. Its mission really is to make uh, education accessible and inclusive. So with that, even though they are not a student of City College, the workshops are free for everyone. And I thought that's really what we meant by being a community college is to really serve the community. What we see nationally in terms of the trends around entrepreneurship are that immigrants are creating jobs and new businesses at four times the rate of other Americans. Um, we see that women of color are uh, creating new businesses at I think nine times the rate of other Americans. So there's this huge need and huge opportunity, and then this incredible gap in resources and access to funds. And I think that that's one of the biggest reasons that CCSF is such an important part of our community, because it's accessible to everyone. For Puisan and Kevin, the Center for Entrepreneurship has helped them realize their aspirations. I uh, learned that I really enjoy entrepreneurship, so I do hope to one day be able to call myself an entrepreneur and um, get my idea out there in the market. There are so many students at community colleges right now who I'm sure have ideas for, for companies that have potential to be great, but don't know how to go about that. Um, the Center for Entrepreneurship allowed me to to dream in a way that I don't think I could have ever done without them. A small business is defined as any company with less than 500 employees. 
California is home to more than 4 million small businesses, which make up 99% of all businesses in the state. They employ more than 7 million people, nearly 50% of the state's workforce, making them a vital part of California's economy.